Okay, great. So let's talk about creating seamless textures in Photoshop for 3ds Max, for V-Ray, for Maya, for whatever CG purpose you need. Commonly, what's going to occur is you're going to Google wood texture. And you're going to look for a fairly high resolution image. So you're not going to want something like this because it's going to get too pixelated. It's 626 by 417. So you're going to look for something like this. 5,000 by 3,000, or this one 3,000, or this one 3,000 by 2,000. Uh, not something like this. It looks great, but it's just not high enough resolution. Uh, if you're in Chrome, if you get to this and it's not high enough resolution, you can right-click and you can search Google for image, see if it's got a higher resolution one. Mm, medium, no, it's like this. That's it. An iStock photo. Well, okay, you can buy it in iStock. And another way to quickly find this is you can click up here on, on Tools and then Size, and you can go larger than. Uh, this doesn't always work too good, but let's say larger than 2 megapixels. So now it's filtered out all of those smaller, smaller res images. Uh, and then you can find one which you like, you know. Maybe this works, 5,000 by 3,000. Again, you're going to have to visit the page and... And take a look. So I've chosen some images here. I've chosen this one. I've chosen this one. I've chosen this one. And this one. And I figure let's make these seamless. So here in Photoshop, this is before, this is after. And we're going to do this fairly fast. I'm not trying to get it necessarily perfect. I'm trying to get it good enough for you to use. You know, normally when I'm working, I don't have a ton of hours to do it. i got to do it quick and get it done. Now, the reason I chose this image is a number of things. It's You've got various lighting here. You've got lighting going on in this area. Uh, you can see when they've taken a photo, there's light there. There's light over on this side. Um, so you need to make it seamless. Plus, you need to get rid of this lighting here. This one here, that's the final one. This is the one before. Again, an intense amount of lighting over on this side. Plus, there's these seams running through on the planks. So we're going to end up with that. This is the old wood texture. And again, we end up with this. This is the white planks, and we're going to end up with that. All right, so I'm going to do this relatively quick. Okay, so make two copies of this. Press Control and J, that will make a copy, and Control J again, that will make another copy. Turn off the top layer, click on the one just beneath it, go to Filter, Blur, Average. Take the one above, turn that back on, turn it from Normal here, down to linear light. You want to set that opacity at 50%. And then you can go up here to filter, other, high pass. And you want somewhere between 100, normally 100 and 150. You can see the difference here. If you go real low, you get that. You get like a sharpening result. As you come up here, can see what's occurring you get more and more of the details of the wood coming back through the original details if you come up too high you just get the original one back so you don't want that so anyway normally between 100 and 150 I'm gonna go about here 75.5 so I say normally 100 150 but I go higher I start getting this blur this glare back in so I've got that so that's the steps. That's how you get rid of um, this blowout here. So I'm just going to show you the same with this one. Turn that one off. You press Control J twice. Get two copies. Turn off the top one. Click on this one. Filter. Blur. Average. Take the one above. Change that to linear light. Turn that opacity down to about 50%. Filter. Other. High pass. Yeah, go a bit higher. If I go up to 150, I get more details. I'm gonna leave it. Let's go 150. Okay. So immediately you've now gotten rid of that that glare that's been occurring here. Again, same with this one. Control JJ. Filter. Uh, uh, av blur average. Make sure this is linear light. Capacity 
filter, other, high pass. Okay, that looks, mm, looks better than before. If you come down too low, you get rubbish. If you go too high, you get the original image back, or close to it. Okay, I'm going to go there, 127. I like that. I still have a lot of the detail of the wood. You can see how it's generally falling, but that's handled the glare in the middle and darkness on the edges. Okay, let's go back to this one. So we need to make this seamless. So what you're going to do is you're going to press Shift, Control, Alt, and E. It's going to merge the layers, but it's going to keep these separate. So basically this is a copy now of all of these layers together. So then go filter, other, and we want to offset it. So we're going to drag it about halfway across. So that's fine. And we're going to handle this seam. Now click on the stamp tool over here, press Alt and click somebody somewhere over here on the right or the left of the image. And then just go over here and just start painting it in. Now again, press Control and Alt and right click on the mouse and you can just see that hardness changes so I like to have mine about 30 or 40 somewhere around there and then you can change the diameter by dragging out sideways so generally I find kind of large about this size is good I don't want to go too large but normally that's pretty good okay so we painted this area in here then we're going to take something from over the other side control alt right click again and drag and just paint this over in this area Let's control Z if you do something you don't like. Oh, I don't like that. So let's just drag something from here. And just paint over. Then control all, make it smaller if you want to. And control all alt over there. Just drag over. Okay, let's get the next bit. That's great. Next bit. I'm just clicking and dragging, painting. And I've done a lot from this side. I'm going to do some from the other side here now. I'm going to do several up here. Okay. Let's take something from over here again. That's well, that's pretty much done. I don't like this here, duplicate of that. I don't even like it over here, so let's get rid of the one over here. And let's get rid of the one over here. There we go. So it's not perfect, you get bits like this, but you know. Most people aren't gonna see that. We've got the seam down here. Let's get rid of the handle that. Alright. So then we're going to go filter, other. I'm going to set this back, offset. So after I've done this, I always do minus, put it back to where it was. And basically, I look to see if I've created any new seams with the work I've done. So something like up here. I don't see any. Let's go the other way. Filter, other, offset. It always has what it was on last time, so I just press zero. And let's come down a bit. Let's just come down 100 and see where the seam is. Okay. So it's right here. That's 100 pixels down. Let's do another two, three. Okay. So there's a seam right there, but you can't really see it. So you don't need to do anything with that. You can just leave that. Maybe you get rid of this light a bit here. Okay. Filter, other, offset. Put that back. Oh, minus 300. Okay, 
and that's the difference. Before, after. Okay, I don't like this. And this brightness over here, I don't really like this. Let's see if we can get rid of that too. Okay, that's it. So let's put these in a group. Before, after. Now, you might want a bit more contrast. Normally I do this with the curves. So click here and make this darker, it's a bit darker. Click here and push up, make the light a bit lighter. But you'll notice it brings in more saturation. So with that, if you want to get rid of the saturation, you just want the lights and darks, so you can change this layer mode here from normal. Go down to luminosity. And that will get rid of the color. So it just affects the lights and the darks. And it's probably a bit much. So I'll change the opacity on that down to 50%. And that's it. Now you can save that out and work with that. So just to run through these quickly, we got this far. Shift, Control, Alt, E. That makes a duplicate. Press S for stamp. or click over here on stamp. Make that a bit bigger. Click on it somewhere down, somewhere here. Just drag. So all I pressed there is I clicked off on the side like this, right there. Press shift and over here. And it just stamped the whole thing over. Press it there, shift over there. And it took above and just stamped it all down. You see how that, you've got a du duplicate there. But I don't think anyone's really going to notice that. We can go over this again a bit. Press Alt here, click, and just paint. Now we still have a seam here at the top to get rid of that. We're going to go Filter, Other, Offset, Pixels down 300, minus 300, so that's come from the bottom. Let's do 1000. Okay, press Alt over here, and just paint. Alt, paint. There we go. Now we need to make it seamless on the edge here. Filter, other, offset. Get that minus 1000. Filter, other, offset. So make that zero. Pixels right. That's perfect. 2536, right in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to click over on the side. And just start painting this. There we go. And we're going to take something from over here. I always click and then I try and match it up. So I'm like, okay, I think that's going to work there. And it normally works out pretty good. Okay, there's a couple things to get rid of, like we've got the same dots here and here, so... And here we've got the same pattern. So what I'm going to do in this case, I mean, I could click here, for instance, on this one, and just paint over. Bang. So another thing which you can do is you can press J. J goes up to this one, Spot Healing Brush Tool. So you can have that, and then you can just come in and you can just paint over these. And it's just going to heal with what it what's around and what it thinks looks similar. What it calculates should be there and you've got content aware create texture proximity match i normally flip between content aware and proximity match uh see this one proximity match just doesn't work so this one content aware is much better but sometimes it's the other way around sometimes content aware really doesn't work and you need to go to proximity match so you have to sort of take it as it is and see what you think works so that's it that one's seamless Filter, other, offset, put it back where it was. And then take a look. Put these in a group. While holding shift, click on this little folder. They all go into this group here. So that's before, that's after. Now again, if you want to change this, you can always put a saturation in, just desaturate a little. It's a bit much about there. Put on a curves. Drag down the darks, push up the lights, change this from normal to luminosity. I think those lights are a bit too bright. 
Maybe drag this hue saturation above. Sometimes that changes it slightly there. Okay. So you got this great texture here, which now you can use. All right, so we've done this on this one. Shift, Control, Alt, E. Make a copy of everything. Filter, Other, Offset. Just go 1,300 to the right. And then we're going to just paint. Press S for stamp. I'll click on there. Alt, click over here. Paint. Alt, click over this side, paint. Alt over here. This one's a bit awkward. Let's go back a few. Let's go ahead. There we go, that works. Get rid of that, totally. Okay. Filter, other, offset, minus 1300. We're going to look at this cut here. Let's go down. There. That's where it is. Okay, this is blurry up here. And down here it's not, so we're going to have to do alt, just grab some of this and Paint away, get rid of some of this blurriness. You don't need to get rid of all of it. Let's get rid of that there. Okay, and then we've got these weird bumps here and here. So if we press J again for the spot healing brush, you can just click on top of them and... Well, see, that didn't work. Let's try proximity match. Click on top of it. And that's pretty much gone. And... Proximity match really doesn't work there. Content aware, let's try it again. Yeah, that worked pretty good. It's a bit blurry there, so we can just stamp. See, right? And just something like that. It's fine. Alright. So we're going to go filter, other, offset. Make that zero this time. Make that minus 1020. Okay. Shift. Click on the bottom, click on the folder, you've got a group, turn it off and on. Before, after. Seamless wood texture. This one, control J, control J, turn those turn that one off. This one, sorry, filter, blur, average, turn that on, filter, other, high pass. Uh, I want to come down lower than that. Actually, I'm going to set that. Try 100. I'm going to leave that one at 100. Okay, Shift, Control, Alt, E. You can see the difference. Okay, J. We're just going to use J on this to get rid of these seams. It's got content to wear up. Over there. And then just press Shift. And then click on this side. And that's gone. There, shift, click on the side. Gone. Here, shift, click over. Gone. Here, click over. Gone. Here, shift, click over there. Gone. Alright, now I like this wood, this original wood here. I like that. I don't like this new wood so much. So this one we're going to go make another copy of this, Control J, and then I'm just going to left click and drag that above. Turn this on. Now, we need the layer mask. If I press Alt and click it, it comes, it gives a black layer mask. Whereas if you normally click on it, you get a white layer mask. So, you can Alt click, and you get a black one. And then brush, that's white. So I'm going to paint white here on this layer mask. Control, Alt, right click. And I need that hardness. Yeah, about 30. Probably diameter, yeah, about about that's good. So we're just going to paint this in. I'm going to go a bit higher, a bit less hardness. Just paint this in a bit here. 
All right. Then I'm going to take these two layers, this one and this one. I'm going to press Control E. That will merge the two together. I'm going to press J again. I've got a small here. I'm just going to click over here, Shift and click over there, and hope that works. Here, Shift, click. That's done. Okay. Filter, other, offset. Okay, that's going 1,020 down, that's fine. Okay. Now, I need to do something here about this seam at the bottom here because I can't just have wood here at the top and, and nothing at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control J, make a copy of this, and then I'm going to flip this upside down. So I'm going to go Image, sorry, Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. I get that on the bottom. Now I'm going to press M for the marquee tool up here. You can also click there. I'm going to click on the side and drag over here just to get just beneath the top of the wood there. And then I'm going to, I want to invert the layer mask I'm going to apply. Click on the layer mask and I get this. Now I don't really want this, but this will do uh, to work with. Press Control T. And then we're going to just click on the bottom here and drag this up something like that and then automatically yeah we can apply that transform I'm gonna go V here and then just drag this down push it up a little I want to get rid of you don't want it to look perfectly symmetrical there so just drag that and cover that um, now take these two layers, click on the bottom one, just press Control E, that will merge them together. Okay, then we're going to do some Photoshop work on this. J again, and I'm just going to quickly try and fix up some bits around here. If you get blurs like this, which you often get from J, uh, just press S, just stamp. Take here and just brush it in. Take down here. And got to get rid of this seam here anyway, so... Just brush over. Press Alt over here. I keep changing where I'm pressing Alt, so I'll come up here, I'll press Alt and just paint in a bit. Press Alt here and try and get rid of that seam there. And press Alt here. Just do a bit of painting down there. And press J, because I don't like having the same bit here three times. And get rid of some details. And J is great for getting rid of these here. I call it J, but it's a spot healing brush. J is the shortcut. Just paint over some of these. And these will start to disappear. There we go. Control a bit bigger. Just get rid of that. I'm going to try and handle this with the same tool. See? kind of goes. Spot healing is fantastic. I use it all the time. Okay, press stamp, press over here. I know it's just going to blur that spot healing brush though. Okay. That's that. Again, spot healing brush. And we're just going to get rid of some of these. Got the same thing appearing again, again, again. Here, there, I've got the same stuff, so... Here, I've got the same here and here. Okay, it's good enough. Filter, other, offset. Click OK. That's it. Now, obviously, this is a bit darker, so again, Curves on, brighten up the lights, not too much. Darks down a bit. But it's a bit saturated now, so change this back to luminosity. Okay. You got a seamless texture here, which you can use. You got one here? There 
They have this one. And that one. I hope this helps you create seamless textures for use in CG.